We are at Xavier University's Art Gallery today, and I'm joined by award-winning actress and artist, CCH Pounder, who you guys may know from NCIS New Orleans, my personal favorite of hers, ER, Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> Look, the list goes on and on. But today, we're actually not talking about her work as an actress so much as her artwork, which she's sharing with the Xavier University and the entire New Orleans community. Tell us about this exhibit. Thank you for being with us. Well, first of all, I should say welcome to Icons, Ideals of Black Masculinity, yes. which is the second iteration of my collection at Xavier University. And I've always wanted to share the work with up and coming young people so that they can see it from the beginning, not feel uncomfortable in museums and art galleries. Let them know that they're welcome and that there are images that represent them all over the world. Sure. So, here we are. And some very strong images here. Tell us about this collection. I've got um, quite an interesting collection. I had, didn't realize it until Sarah Clunas, who is the head of the art department here, asked me, well, do you have the male version of the show Queen that I did before? Mm -hmm. And I didn't think I had enough. And then when we went mining in my collection, it was like, oh my goodness, so there was this, there was this, there was that. And so we start off with Mario Moore, mm -hmm. um, who's naked body with the word armor on his underwear kind of represents a situation that's in current America today in the sense that they are young men being armed and hurt with very little protection mm -hmm. um, except the kind of bravura of a hoodie and tough shoes etc. So I wanted to make this a centerpiece of the work that represents America today and yet there are other beautiful works here by Kehinde Wiley. Um, and I wanted also to introduce artists from the diaspora like Kamara Gay mm -hmm. and Joseph Esse, who um, at the very end of the uh, gallery is showing a sort of reversal of roles where he has now become the household worker mm -hmm. and his wife is dreaming big things. Yes. So there's a beautiful contrast in things. Sarah also asked me to include kind of the origin of African art representing men. So there are some wonderful statues of the Kuba, there is the Bois, there are other statues around that represent masculinity and the transformative forces of going from boyhood to manhood. This is amazing. So. And so many of the pieces just seem really relatable. You pass by, you almost have to stop. Yes. And interact with it. Yes, and I think because they represent people that we feel like we know them. Mm. We feel like we've encountered them before. And to find them from youth to maturity to old age, I really wanted to give that super coverage of here we are as all of us, as opposed to just the the snippet that you hear on your news. There you go. Yeah, we want people to have a broader message. A broader message. What have you been hearing from people about the works of art? What is the reaction you're getting? Um, I've seen weeping, which mm. is pretty amazing. Um, I've had wonderful compliments. Uh, I love it, the fact that this is a sort of corridor gallery where people are walking through to other uh, classrooms mm -hmm. or to their works upstairs. And you see them walking and then there's this kind of slow pace of like, oh, w what is that? Yeah. And it stops them and they take a moment to take a look at the work. So. That's really exciting for me. That's really special that you're sharing your own artwork. What does it take for you to pass a piece of art and say, this needs to be in my home? Um, it's emotional, first of all. Mm -hmm. um, it's not so much that it has to be affordable, but I maintain a level of this is as far as I will go, because then there's always this sort of conflicting feeling of, that could be a down payment for a house. Mm -hmm. you know, I could get somebody into college. I could. Mm -hmm. And there is that. And so because I send kids to school, this is sort of like, how dare you? And yet at the same time, I, um, I do it because in the future, this collection can continue to send children to school. Sure. I truly believe that. So um, I'm trying to send it out into the world, have people see it, and appreciate it for what it is. All right, Superwoman, so you're sharing your art. You've got the artist side, the amazing actress side, and you're sending kids to school. Yeah, I like to send kids hey, to school. Hey, and just, yeah. just casually like that. Thank yeah. you so much for joining Absolutely. us and for sharing this with the community. Thank you. 
It was so nice talking with her. The exhibit icons, ideals of black masculinity is on view through February 28th at Xavier University's Art Gallery, which is located in the university's administration building. It's free and open to the public Monday through Friday from 10 until 4. And a reminder, you can see CCH Pounder each week on NCIS New Orleans, Tuesday nights at 9 on Channel 4. The program is now in its fifth season.